Hello friends, I hope you guys are well. Today's video is all about getting the things done. I'm gonna share my strategies when I have a long to-do list, how I stay motivated, how I stay on track, and most importantly, how I can let some things go because there's just only so many hours in the day. If you're new, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and stick around, let's get started. The first thing I have to do when I have just this running list of things I need to get done in my head is get out a piece of paper and just kind of unload my brain on that piece of paper. And I try to organize it into high, medium, and low priority. The high priorities are the items that I'm gonna make my goals that day, make sure I get all of those done, and then medium priority, it would be nice if I get to them, but it's okay if I don't. And low priority are just those items that don't necessarily have to get done anytime soon, but they're taking up space in my brain, so I need to write them down so I can get them out of my brain and off of my shoulders and just have it there. And so once I get my high priority items done, the medium priority will then become my next list of high priority whenever I have another day that I'm getting a bunch of things done. I also like to use just some special paper when I make my to-do list. It just adds some extra fun and kind of romanticizes the activity of getting my to-do list done and just adds to that motivation. All right, I wanna go over our high priority items today. I used to call these must do's, but then I felt like that was unnecessary pressure because at the end of the day, if some of these don't get done, the world is gonna keep turning. So we're good, we're gonna be okay. My family will be just fine. So I don't wanna call them must do's. Let's take some of the pressure off. These are just higher priority items. This is what I'm gonna start with. As you can see, I tend to go a little heavy with the higher priority. Something I, I struggle with is realizing that everything is not high priority. There are medium priority, there is definitely low priority, but if you look at my list, low priority only has one item on it, but I actually just thought of something that's low priority that I can add to the list, and that is hemming the curtains. Thank you to everybody who gave feedback on our curtains. Without a doubt, everybody said, go ahead and hem them, especially the ones upstairs because they're a thicker material and they just don't look right hanging on the ground. It's not flowy, it's just heavy and bulky. So I'm absolutely, I got the hem tape that somebody recommended, so thank you so much for recommending that. It's gonna be a low priority item for now, but I am hoping to get that done over the next week. So high priority items for today. We're gonna start upstairs. I just need to make Steven and I's bed. That is always just the motivation for me, the driving force that kind of jump starts being able to move on to other things. We need to get dinner in the crock pot. My mom's coming over for dinner tonight. Dinner is a priority, so we have to get that in the crock pot. And I'll show you just a quick, easy recipe that is really, really good and healthy. I need to wash Rory's cheer camp clothes. She has cheerleading camp next week and I'm so excited. I got her a couple of outfits for cheer camp. They're more athletic. I'll show them to you in case you have some children and you're looking for stuff like that. They're all from Target, very affordable. So I'll show you that really quickly too. I wanna clean the kitchen. I, I've talked to you guys about this before. I can handle the rest of our house looking whatever state it needs to be in. The kitchen is always determining my mood. Sorry, that's my son's watch going off. He has a friend that is very eager to hang out with him right now. So we're just gonna keep going with that. It'll turn off eventually. All right, so next on the list, we're gonna clean out the dish pods container. So I showed you in one of my videos how my dish pods always stick together. And it, I know it's because I'm doing the dishes, my hands get wet, I reach into the container, water gets on there, they stick together. It is a disaster in there. So I really wanna take out the dish pods that are just in a big clump, separate them out, clean it out, fill it up with some new ones. So we're gonna get the dish pod container cleaned out. Uh, and I know that might not seem like a high priority item to some of you, but it's been on my mind and on my list for quite some time. So I am bumping it up because that is another strategy. When something is causing stress and weight on your shoulders, make it high priority, all right? We're gonna fold the towels. Oh, I'm gonna share my laundry routine with you guys. I finally, finally have come up with a laundry routine that is working for our family. So I will share that with you, but part of that, today's Friday when I'm filming, we need to do the towels. So we're gonna fold the towels. I wanna make some mini protein muffins for the kids and I wrote down fruit boxes. So we have our final AAU travel basketball tournament this weekend for our middle son, Liam. And so I want to get some protein muffins made because we have to be out of the house pretty early tomorrow morning. And so protein muffins are just a nice way to just grab and go as we go. And I want to make bento boxes with different fruit and snacks for them. So again, something that's ready to go first thing in the morning tomorrow. I wanna speed clean our living room. We're just talking surface level, get that back in order. Same thing for the dining room. And that's all the high priority stuff. If we get to medium priority, we'll get to it. But just really quickly, 
organize the trunk of my car, clean behind the trash cans. If you have a pull out trash can drawer, have you looked back there? It's not pretty. We need to clean that. Not if we get to it. Medium priority, you guys. Organize any declutter in the mudroom, mudroom bathroom, it's fine. That's why it's just medium priority. I just like to keep up with it before it becomes not fine. If we don't get to it, we don't get to it. And then just vacuuming. Again, vacuuming isn't a priority today. We'll see if we have time. Low priority, the only thing I have, and I'll add the curtains, is to put away my kids' school supplies. I am so thankful that the teachers sent home unused supplies and things like that, but we also got all of their used supplies, all of the papers that have probably been accumulating in the back of their desk, and I just shoved it all into tote bags and just put it in the office. So at some point, I might even just do a clean declutter organize for one of my videos over the next week or two, because I just have a lot of little spots like that that I had just have got to declutter and organize. So I might just have that be a whole video. Let me know in the comments if you would benefit from that. But all right, let's start upstairs. Let's get Stephen and I's bed made and then we'll come back down to the kitchen and get dinner in the crock pot. I wanted to make sure my kids were ready to go for the day before I started working through my list. Charlie is actually getting ready to go to a soccer game with one of his friends and their family. So I'm just getting some sunscreen on his face because they are gonna be in the sun for multiple hours. And I'm using that sunscreen stick that I showed you guys. Well, no, I didn't have it actually when I did my um, summer prep video. I think I mentioned it to you guys and I told you I'd show it later. So here is later. It is awesome. It's called the sunny stick. I'll link it for you guys. I love it. You essentially, I thought it was a dispenser, but all you really have to do is just squeeze the sun lotion on top of it and then you kind of use it almost like a makeup brush but your hands don't get all greasy and oily and it goes on so much smoother on their faces and my kids tolerate it so much better than if I was using my hands and like rubbing it all over them because they tend to just complain a lot when I'm putting sunscreen on them but they don't complain with the sunny stick and then Roy was going to the pool with Steven and so was Liam so I got them all settled and ready to go and so they are off to the pool Charlie's off to the soccer game and I am now just going to start with our bed making the bed I have talked about this before it's just always a good starting point for me especially on days where I feel like I have a lot I need to get done sometimes just starting with a simple task that is easy to do is just give it just gives that motivation that kickstart to get going with everything else that you have to get done update I finished it such a good book I am now on to book two I haven't started it yet it just came from Amazon but book two and this is Lucy's score book one is things we never got over book two is things we hide from the light actually I will send this to one of you this is how much I love this book and I want to share it with you first person to leave me a comment and tell me they want this book I will mail it to you Probably need to restrict it to people that live in the United States. So sorry to my international friends, but shipping will probably get tricky with that. So first US person to say, send me the book. I'll reach out to you. It's so good. I cannot wait to read this one. Also, how beautiful are these covers? That alone is inspiring. All right, let's keep cleaning. And then there's all of these towels. And I think there's actually another load in the dryer of towels. This is why I needed a laundry schedule. So I am gonna get these folded today, but I'm not gonna do it right now. They're there, we know they're there, they're high priority. We will get to them later today. All right, here is Rory's little cheer camp haul. I cannot wait, she's gonna be so cute in these outfits. These are all from Target, it's the all in motion line where it's like that athletic material and I think this will be nice and cool for her. These are all skorts so we don't have to worry about wearing an extra layer of shorts underneath but I got her this color which is a bright pink, a petal pink. This is more green but on camera it looks more turquoise. I guess it's kind of like in between the two and then navy blue. So she has enough for each day. And then I only could find three tank tops. So she'll probably just do a t-shirt the other day. But this is again, that same material for a tank top. And then these are just like cotton tank tops. 
And I think she's just gonna look so cute. I'm gonna look in all of her bows too and just find like a matching hair bow for each day. But she is so excited for cheer camp and I'm so excited for her too. They're gonna do a little performance at the end of the week. All right, I'm gonna take all the tags off and get these in the laundry. just turned off the washing machine for a second so I could share our laundry schedule with you. If you've been following, you know I have never had any type of a cleaning schedule before, but as my kids are home for summer, the laundry is somehow just accumulating more and more. So are the dishes. So it was just, it was time. I wanted to get, I've always wanted to do this. So it's, it's a trial basis. We'll do it together. I'll keep I'll keep you updated on how I feel about it, but so far I really, really like it. It holds me accountable. I've never had an issue washing the clothes. Not even really a big issue. Well, sometimes folding them, it's putting them away. That is always my downfall. I'll have them in the baskets. I'll put on a TV show. I'll fold them. I'll get them back in the baskets, and then they just sit in Stephen and I's room in the basket for all of eternity. So I am trying to break that habit. And so the way that I broke it down, I showed you guys a close up, but Monday is my laundry. Wednesday, I do two out of four of the beds. We have three kids, and so there's four different beds that need to be laundered. And so one week I'll do two beds, next week I'll switch it. That way everybody's sheets and bedding is getting washed every other week, so about twice a month. And then Thursday, a day off. Friday, towels, and that gets us ready for the pool for the weekend, because really the extra towels we have are from the pool. I like to wash the, pools, the pool towels every time we use them, just like the chlorine and stuff on them. I don't like to reuse them, so I wash them every single time, so that's a good day to do towels. Liam, mostly because Saturday was in purple, my middle son Liam helped me make this laundry schedule. He wanted his own laundry day, and so I gave him that. And so he is Saturday. Um, and so we'll do his laundry and my kids put their own laundry away. So it's super simple. So Liam is going to be Saturday, Rory and Charlie are Sunday. I wash the clothes. I take it. You've seen me. I dump it on their bed. And even Rory, our six year old daughter is capable of putting her laundry away. We have to help her a little bit with the stuff that needs to be hung up, but it's super simple and it's so nice. And that's just a part of their weekly chores that they do. All right, here's the laundry schedule. I will definitely keep you updated friends. Thank you for coming along on this journey today. Let's get wild We're magic, you and I They call us reckless, but we don't mind We got one summer, so let's make it count You make me feel like everything's alright Let's dance our problems away in the night Love being right next to you You'll be We will get back to finishing the kitchen up, but I want to go ahead and get dinner in the crock pot and I wanted to show you what we're making. This is a chicken, green bean, and little red potato crock pot meal. All you use in addition to those items is one packet of French onion seasoning mix and some chicken stock. 
Now you'll see recipes where they tell you to just put butter with this. I do the healthier option. I've made it many times this way and it tastes just as good with chicken stock. And so that's how I make it for my family. This is truly just like a dump and go recipe and it's so good. I'm almost positive I have shared this recipe with you guys in the past, but we are gonna make it again. So let's get this in the crock pot and then we'll keep cleaning the kitchen. catch Annie on camera snoring because she has been taking some hard naps today but every time I come close she wakes up but it was really cute
while we keep working through the to-do list, I want to go ahead and introduce myself for anybody new here and also answer some of the questions that you guys submitted to me. So welcome to anybody new. My name is Trisha Miller. I have had my YouTube channel for a little over a year now. I started my YouTube channel because I just wanted to connect with others around the world. I want to help other people, especially moms. Life can be very challenging as a parent, so anything we can do to help each other out, any tips or tricks, I am just all about. And so I like to do videos on homemaking, organization, decluttering, cleaning motivation, healthy recipes that your kids will actually eat, mom life, just all the things, home decor, especially for the holidays. I love decorating for the holidays, but mostly I just want you to feel like you have a friend to hang out with because life can be lonely sometimes and I am here for you guys and I just am really loving all the connections that I have already made with you guys in the comment section. So definitely reach out in the comments. I love hearing from you. You've seen, you've already seen two of our children in the video today, but we have our 11 year old son named Charlie. We also have a nine year old son named Liam and a six year old daughter named Rory. And that adorable dog barking at me right now is Annie. She is our four year old red lab. I keep calling her three to you guys in other videos and I am so sorry. That girl definitely turned four in January. And then we also have a 14 year old chocolate lab named Gus. He is the sweetest soul you will ever meet. He actually lives in our basement. We call him our basement bachelor because he can no longer do stairs. It's just too hard on his joints. And so we're very fortunate. We have a walkout basement so he can get to everywhere that he needs to go. And I will just periodically show him on the channel. He's a little bit camera shy. And someone also asked what my husband Steven does for a living. So Steven is in healthcare. He has worked in healthcare for a very long time. And prior to me starting to stay home as a stay at home mom, I was actually a high school science teacher for 13 years. I loved it. I am always will be a teacher at heart and I may go back to teaching one day, but right now I am just loving being home with my family and I am really enjoying this new adventure as a YouTuber and that is all thanks to you guys. So that is a little bit about me and feel free if you have any more questions, just throw them in the comments. I am an open book. I am happy to answer anything for you guys, but let's keep getting that to-do list done. I'm laying down at the compiling. I see you in the wild Cause this time I will choose you Yeah I'll choose You know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this Knowing it's a risk cause you're using it You got all your secrets I can seem to move technically just kind of cheated and did a medium priority item before all of my high priority items were done but I saw how dirty our floors were and all the dog hair I mean look that thing got full so I made a decision to bump up the priority to high priority for vacuuming and I have no regrets all right now let's keep going Okay, it's time to make our muffins. I just wanna show you all the ingredients and then I will put the recipe in the video description box. Let's start here. So the VIP here is Kodiak uh, pancake mix because this is where we're gonna get our protein. And that's why I love these muffins because they fill our kids up a little bit more. We need some unsweetened applesauce, cinnamon, pure maple syrup, vanilla, 
baking powder, eggs, and then for my chocolate chips, I'm gonna do a mix of some hot cocoa and marshmallow flavored ones that I just have left over and I wanna use those up and then throw in a little sprinkle of peanut butter ones and I think that will be so delicious and we're gonna make mini muffins. Oh, you know what? I think I also need some almond milk, so let me grab that.
All right, it's time to finally get to the folding of the towels. I actually don't mind folding towels. I feel like it's the easiest out of all the things that we have to fold. And a strategy, and I've shared this with you guys, that I do when I have a ton of laundry that I need to fold, I put on a show that I've been looking forward to and I just kind of zone out, get the folding done, watch my show. It's just like a little me time where I can just tune the rest of the world out and just get things done and just have fun while I'm doing it. And so right now what I'm doing as I'm re-watching the first release of the Bridgerton season three episodes because the next release is going to come out June 13th. Who out there is a Bridgerton fan? Let me know in the comments. Season three I think is fabulous and when I re-watch them I pick up on a lot of stuff that I didn't pick up the first time around. Is anybody else like that with Bridgerton? It's just I feel like I just miss so much when I'm watching it and then Charlie I had to pause it because Charlie just came in the room. He just got back from the soccer game because you know if you've been watching Bridgerton season three is really steamy like season one so it was not kid appropriate so don't worry I turned it off real quick when I heard him coming up the stairs but he's just filling me in on the soccer game. He had so much fun Annie will always join the party when people are have, are doing something. So she's there. She loves to lay right in the middle of the laundry. I think she enjoys the smell of fresh laundry. Who can blame her? I enjoy that smell as well. So I'm just going to get these towels folded. And then I also want to show you guys how dinner turned out. The muffins are truly so delicious. And I love the fact that they have that protein in them. And that just keeps the kids fuller longer. And Stephen and I really enjoy the muffins as well. And I like doing the mini muffin version. Because then we put them in little snack bags for the games and the tournament. And we had just multiple rounds of them. And they, I felt like they lasted a little bit longer than if I had made larger muffins. I know that mom math is not adding up, but it, trust me, they just lasted longer in our family. When I make the big muffins and it's just a dozen muffins, I swear they're gone in like one day. But the main muffins actually lasted for the whole weekend. And so let me show you what that dinner looks like. It's a healthy one. It tastes so good. If you are not an onion soup kind of a person, you could put a ranch seasoning packet instead. I've made it both ways. They're both delicious. I do feel like the, the onion soup version has a little bit more flavor to it. And this is also just like a dump and go where you could add your own seasoning if you wanted to, but it's so good. The chicken is so tender and I just love a good dump and go dinner. I feel like crock pots are perfect in the summer because they don't heat up your house. I know that they're typically more of a fall and winter type of a dinner, but I just love this in the summertime. So I will put all of the recipes from today's video in the video description box for you guys if you want to try them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some motivation and some ideas to tackle those big to-do lists. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!